Hello world, welcome to today's video. So today what we are trying to solve is something called as who likes it. So you probably know the like system from Facebook and other pages. People can like blog posts, pictures or other items. We want to create the text that should be displayed next to such an item. So what we need to do is implement a function called as likes that is going to take a string and return a string, right? So we must take an input array containing the names of the people who like an item. It must return the display text as shown in the example. So if the array is empty, you must say no one likes this. If the array has, a, has an input, say for example, Peter, then it must say Peter likes this. If it has two names, then it must say Jacob and Alex likes this. If it has three names, then it must say the three names, they like it. If it has one, two, three, and four names, then it must say Alex, Jacob, and two others like this. Okay. So first, what we need to do is... Um, First, let us say no one likes it. If they, what do you say? If the array is empty, right? So, first of all, if array is empty, that means there is there are no items. So, names dot length equal to equal to zero. Then you return no one likes this so that is out of the way we can do a simple else if loop right like else else if soup is what we call this so if names dot length equal to equal to one i'm pretty sure there is a easier way to i mean easier in the sense like clever way to do this but we'll just do it this way and see if this works out if names dot length equal to equal to one then we say hold on yeah if names dot length equal to equal to one then we say whatever that guy's name is names of zero so we need to put this inside backticks, right? So we can take this as a variable likes this perfect. Else if names dot length equal to equal to two then what we need to do is we need to return names of zero and names of one likes this so it's like and it's not likes okay it's likes in the first one And it's it's simple English, right? No one likes this. Okay, likes, and then this is like because there are two people. Else, if names dot length equal to equal to three, then we return this with three people. that guy this guy and this person names of two like this right perfect and if it is more than three else meaning like if it is more than three then it must return
for Alex and Jacob. So for if it is three, it's fine. If it is more than three, then it must say two others like it in case of four. If it is five, then it must say three others like it, right? So we need a variable over there. So for let i equal to, let's say two, i less than names dot length i plus plus, right? So it must return, no, what it must do is we will return whatever their first two names is. So like if it is, say for example, uh, names dot length is for height. So if names dot length is for, then what we need to do is we need to return names of zero, names of one and dollar i likes it, right? Like it, like this. This is what we need, right? Mm. And we need to start this from three because, yeah, we need to start this from three and we also need to have let num of people be equal to two. This is our first case, default case, right? So when i is equal to three, just give me a moment. Okay, so I'm back. Mm, so we have this as our default case, right? So names dot, if it is greater than three, then we need we say i is equal to three and names dot length, then name will is four. So it will run into one iteration and it will return whatever this is the case, right? What happens if it is names dot five? We cannot, we cannot return this over here. We need to return num of people. This is our default case. So if names dot length is equal to five, what we need to do is we need to increment that, right? So num of people plus plus, right? Plus equal to one. So we need to increment this, but until when will you increment this? We cannot use a for loop. A for loop is, this is not idle, right? So let's just say that, while num of people, minus one because that is what i needs to be right like i was always one higher than the number of people so number of people minus one is less than names dot length and we say here we say three while that is the case Hold on, I'm just trying to think how exactly we can solve this. We need an increment value over here. So the first second, it's fine. Just print it out that way. What we can do, we don't need a loop. So what we can do is, else we need to return, let's just say we have let difference equal to names dot length minus two, right? So we need to return names of zero. names of one and 
the difference right like this yep this should work i was just over complicating this situation let's just test this out yep that works why because i mean i was just over complicating this whole thing so it's pretty simple uh, else if soup so what we need to do is if you notice at the end whatever be the number of people right you just it's always standard that you have the first two names printed out and then the rest whatever is left out so from the given array you are removing the first two names meaning that you are uh, subtracting two number i mean the number of people right you are subtracting two from the total number of people so that would be the difference and then sorry if you hear my dog barking but yeah and then what you need to do is you just need to take out the difference and then you need to print that out like whatever is the left out people so let's just attempt this yep everything works out so yeah that's it for today's video hopefully you enjoyed this pretty simple straightforward i just used the nfl's loop and yeah everything works out we'll just see if somebody else has done it in a pretty easier way i don't know why but it takes a lot of time oh a new privilege why you have now the ability to estimate the ranking of your own beta kata okay i'll just ignore that for a moment okay so yeah yeah he has used the switch case which is also very good right you can use case 0 case 1 blah 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 right this is also very nice to do see again same thing right i was just over complicating the whole situation what has this guy returned so in case of zero do this in case of this do that yeah this is also one of the cool ways to do it he has used string templates i mean the array template sorry that's nice yeah many people have used switch case which is also pretty cool you can do that or you can simply use the traditional if else statement and then get the same result right so that's it for today's video hopefully you enjoyed it and see you in the next one